Ohio, Idaho, and Michigan. And that was movement of lactating cattle out of Texas into those herds. Assistant State Veterinarian Dr. Amanda Price says the flu seems to be spreading from cow to cow through contaminated milk. We don't really get that many lactating dairy cattle moving into the state. Um, most of the dairy cattle that we get are the young stock, the young heifers. Even then, she says all cattle coming into Utah have to be cleared by a vet. And while the disease is jumping to mammals, Dr. Price says this strain, which has been around for a few years, doesn't seem to infect people. Our first case was last week. Um, there was a worker on one of the infected dairies that they think might have gotten some milk onto his hand and then rubbed his eye. So he had a little bit of pink eye. She says those working around animals that could get infected should practice good hygiene. She adds that infected dairy cattle produce less milk, but that milk is likely still safe for consumption. The milk from most dairies is pasteurized. Um, and the pasteurization process kills the virus. She says the virus hasn't been found in beef cattle, but is popping up in other animals, like cats at one dairy. And developed nervous system signs and then died, um, which is kind of typical with what we've seen in other, in other mammalian species. So the mountain lions, foxes, things like that. She says with migration season underway and thousands of birds stopping at Great Salt Lake, it is possible the virus could make it to Utah. We've only known about this in dairy cattle for less than two weeks now, so there's a lot that we don't know. Dr. Price says while there is no reason to panic, there is reason for concern. They're asking farmers to keep a close eye on their herds and flocks, and if they think any of their animals are infected with the flu, that they reach out to their veterinarian for further investigation. Reporting from Taylorsville, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.